let me uh, welcome him right now, the president of the Trinidad and Tobago uh, Unified Teachers Association, Mr. Lindsay Dudai. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me this morning. My pleasure, Mr. Bishop, and good morning to you and your many listeners. I thank you very much. It's great to have you here, sir. The area folks are saying, listen, it's wasting teachers' time. It is not working. It is unproductive. It's counterproductive to have these days open for school. Why don't we just free up this week? But it will mean some dislocation for teachers. You say that will not be entertained. Tell me why. Well, for the simple reason, Mr. Bishop, the parents are falling on their responsibilities as regards proper parenting. Parents have a responsibility to get their children to school on the days where the attendances have been affected. And uh, if we are to agree to such a proposal, what we are in effect doing, we are, um, we are treating the symptoms of the problem and dealing with the actual problem. Mr. Dudai, may I beg of you a moment, please? Sir? Do you have me on speakerphone? Yes, I do. Uh, could you take me off speakerphone, please? Because we're not get, getting you as clear as I could. And to no, ensure no, no, that... No problem. Yeah, there we I go. Did. We are so yeah. much better. Please go ahead, sir. The reason why you say we should not do this, make it a carnival week, as it were. Well, why this is a issue now is because parents have not been fulfilling their responsibilities with regard to sending their children to school on the days that they are supposed to do. Um, to do so. A big deal is being made about attendance on Ash Wednesday. I wanted to let you know, and any, any teacher will let you know, that the problem is not confined to Ash Wednesday. It's con it also pertains the week before Carnival and actual Carnival week. So what are we to do? Are we to declare the week before Carnival a week off and, and then the Carnival week also a week off? Because the problem is bigger than Ash Wednesday or the Tuesday and the Friday after Carnival. It, it, it precedes the Carnival week. Mm -hmm. And to what I'm saying, parents have to live up to their responsibility and get their children to school. But also, I want to point out that if we are to accept th this proposal, what message are we sending to these young children when they become adults? Are we saying that when you mm -hmm. um, become an adult after carnival that you will not go to work for the three days after, after carnival? And I want to throw another um, thought into the whole issue. During the July August vacation, many Parents, they stay at home, they take their vacation, what, whatever is available to them in terms of leave from their jobs, to stay home with their parents. So if this week is granted off the carnival week um, to students mm -hmm. to stay home, are we going to see a commensurate decline in productivity during a carnival week because the parents will also stay home with their children during this week? So um, yeah. the minister will have to do a lot of convincing to convince tutors to accept this proposal right now. I do not think that we would look favorably upon this proposal. If no. there's a problem, let us try to fix the problem, that then uh, instead put a plaster over the issue. Let us see if we can approach this um, uh, with what we have before us. Your point is quite correct. There is the reliction of duty or negligence or, 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 or wasting public time by teachers, uh, by parents who are not, in fact, doing what they, they're supposed to do. All right, that is accepted. When um, Zima Ramatali, the National Parent Teachers Association, said that um, this is something we should entertain, she said because there are many contributing factors here, including parents are tired, teachers uh, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> may not be totally up to the task. Um, she's saying that the nation is tired and if we did the sensible thing, it would be wise for us to put aside this week because it is one thing to say that parents are failing in their responsibility. We know they are. Clearly, the numbers articulated by the minister show that they are failing. But you just had two days. I, 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 I believe we should work every day. That's me personally, but I'm one person. Yeah. You believe that they should exercise the diligence and get their children there. You are the, the, the head of the teachers' union. I understand your position. You may be like me. You may be a greater workaholic than I am. However, people are in fact failing to follow through because of two days, which is the culmination of about two weeks before of partying. So they are not going to get up to speed no matter how much we would like to insist that they should. Should we then, not facing those facts, say, let us revisit this and put in something that is more pragmatic? Well, I, I would say no. And, and if you, um, in terms of quoting Ms. Ramatali, where she said that the parents are tired, um, I, 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 that I disagree with su such a thinking because if we are partying for carnival for two days, we, we have to party hard, but we have to also know that come Ash Wednesday, it's a working day. Mm. What 
And what do we do then? Do we shut down the country for an entire week? Obviously, that will be a no, no, we cannot. As that any serious thinking society look to go that in that direction. So I'm saying that we, we have to try to change our mindset, our way of thinking, and, tr- and try to appreciate that Ash Wednesday and the subsequent days of the week are working days, and we must all go out to work. Parents also have to ensure that the children are at school. And I can tell you, um, Mr. Bishop and your listeners, lots of work went on in our nation's schools during Ash Wednesday to Friday, notwithstanding that students were absent by and large in our nation's schools. Teachers did teach. I can tell you in many schools, because of the perennial problem of low attendance, they factored in other activities like annual sports day. Many schools had annual sports day during this week. Many schools mm-hmm. had their 5K and their marathons on the carnival week and the week leading up to carnival, all in an effort to try to get these activities out of these out of their school calendar. So when um so, so that they that they will free up, you know, time during the academic year to, to have actual mm-hmm. teaching and learning being done. So Schools have recognized that this is a problem and they try to tailor made their activities in the schools to cater for any such low attendance. There are many who feel that the position taken by the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, articulated by you, that uh, parents are not doing their duty, teachers are not going to acquiesce to any change. Some folks um, um, proffer that this is because of a selfish agenda, because teachers don't want to do any for any sacrifice. In, 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 in lieu of the reality that while you say, um, well, what are we going to do, have a, a week closed down? True that the matter is there is a week closed down because of what we saw happen this time. Is it not? No, I, I disagree with you because these statistics would reveal, as it put in the teachers, and I speak on behalf of teachers, that 86% of our primary school teachers came out to work on Ash Wednesday. Oh, yes, oh, yes. 78% of secondary schools. So teachers are ready to work, and we came out to work. And we have to get up thinking to permeate all levels of our um, public sector and our private sector and different mm. aspects of our society so that we can have greater productivity after the carnival break, after the carnival days, Monday and Tuesday. The next time I am accused of being a workaholic, I'm going to call you for my defense. Rest assured, no because I am in con- I'm, I'm in concert with you. You know, everybody should get up and work. What would you suggest we put as a deterrent and or a penalty and or something to encourage and dissuade um, parents from taking so haphazardly the responsibility of getting their kids out to school? If you were sitting down with the minister right now and he said, I'm having a discussion with all the stakeholders, guys, how can we do something to correct this, t- this attendance problem? What would your suggestion be, sir? Well, I, I would say we need to, to, to have a greater public relations campaign with respect to having uh, parents and the children to school. The former Minister of Education was no favorite of mine, but to his credit, he did try his best to, to mm. ensure that the children come out on Ash They're going so fast to ensure that school meals are provided and, and you know, appeals are made in, in the media. This was missing this time around. Right, and so when Minister Garcia says we had a lower turnout this year than in previous years, it was because there was a lack of public appeal to the parents before carnival. Also, there there were, there were no meals provided for students on the Ash Wednesday. I want to point out though that I am of the opinion that even if meals were provided, it would not have a had a significant effect in terms of attendance at school. Let me just put that on the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, you're going to get me to um, ask my question again. <laughs> Would you subscribe to any kind of penalty, any sort of punishment, anything we put on um, that parents realize it is important, regardless of how tired they are after uh, their carnival activities, that they must bring their child to school or there will be a penalty? Well, I will answer the question in a broader perspective. They have been called um, to make parents more accountable for the action, for the actions of their students and I would say yes um, there should be some measure or intervention looked at to ensure that parents get their children to school on the week before carnival and even on can- in the carnival week
Mm-hmm. 81% turnout is a, 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 is a very good turnout, but it is still 81%. Is there any position taken by Tutor with the um, other 19% who did not turn out? That's with respect to, with respect to teachers? Yes. All right? Yes. Well, well, well Mr. Texas, the ministry would have presented there. They are, I would think, on part of the attendance of teachers on any particular day, because on any particular day, teachers may be um, sick, they may have some personal business to attend to, they may mm. be away from school for some other reason. So the, the mm. figures that were given for Ashwins, I would think, would be more or less the normal figures in terms of attendance of teachers on any particular day. Good enough. That's what I wanted to get clear. Uh, Lindsay yeah. Dudai, again, uh, you've made yourself available uh, on a morning when you would prefer to be resting, but then I thank you so much for taking the time to come in, coming and commenting on this situation because the nation has to deal with this one way or the other. You either put something uh, that parents know it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a big cost to not getting your children at school because it's costing the country a lot of money. It is interfering with the education of our children, and it is kind of flying in the face of something that that nobody's talking about. Nobody works for Carnival Week. Seems so. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, of course, you could go ahead and tell me that, you know, when the teachers work, we work. I understand that. But the parents are not getting the kids there. And at the end of the day, we have to ask the question very seriously. Do we have enough in place to force parents to live up to that responsibility? Or should we face the reality that nothing is going to be done that week because of the the collective effort is not there, sir. Well, well, I think this has been a perennial problem, a perennial issue over the years, and I would be the first to admit that nothing has been done to early to address the issue because every year we have this hullabaloo after carnival about attendance and school, mm-hmm. and, and, and then the status mm-hmm. quo remains afterwards. We need to make a concerted effort to try to get parents understand that their responsibility is to have their students, have their children in school on Ash Wednesday and the subsequent days after Ash Wednesday and even the days uh, on the week prior to the carnival um, I, days. I, do ha- I don't have the answer, but I believe there is no such thing that is going to happen without a penalty. Lindsay Dudai, uh, the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us, sir. My pleasure. Thank you very much. You